Welcome to DrugTestInBulk.com's one-step multi-drug, multi-line screen test device instructional video. Directions for use. Allow the test device, urine specimen, and or controls to equilibrate to room temperature prior to testing. Step 1. Remove the test device from sealed pouch and use it as soon as possible. Step 2. Place the test device on a clean and level surface. Hold the dropper vertically and transfer three full drops of urine to the specimen wells of the test device. Step 3. Wait for the colored lines to appear. The results should be read at 5 minutes or up to 60 minutes after test initiation. Reading the results. Positive. No line appears in the test region for a specific drug tested. One colored line appears in the control region. The positive result indicates that the drug concentration in the urine sample exceeds the designated cutoff of a specific drug. Negative. The appearance of a colored line in a C region and a colored line in the T region for a specific drug indicate a negative test result. Up to four colored lines may appear, one line in the C region and up to three lines in the T region. The negative result indicates the drug concentrations in the urine samples are below the designated cutoff levels of a particular drug tested. You should note, the shade of the color in the test region may vary, but it should be considered negative whenever there is even a faint line. Invalid. A control line fails to appear. Insufficient specimen volume or incorrect procedural techniques are the most likely reasons for control line failure. Review the procedure and repeat the test with a new test device. If the problem persists, contact your local distributor. Quality control. A procedural control is included in a test. A colored line appearing in the control region is considered an internal procedural control. It confirms sufficient specimen volume, adequate membrane wicking, and correct procedural technique. Limitations. 1. The one-step, multi-drug, multi-line screen test device provides only a qualitative preliminary analytical result. A secondary analytical method must be used to obtain a confirmed result. Gas chromatography mass spectrometry is the preferred confirmatory method. 2. There is a possibility that technical or procedural errors, as well as other interfering substances in the urine specimen, may cause erroneous results. Adulterants such as bleach and or alum in urine specimens may produce erroneous results regardless of analytical method used. If adulteration is suspected, the test should be repeated with another urine specimen. 4. The positive result does not indicate level of intoxication, administration route, or concentration in urine. 5. A negative result may not necessarily indicate drug-free urine. Negative results can be obtained when drug is present but below the cutoff level of the test. 6. Test does not distinguish between drugs of abuse and certain medications. 7. A positive test result might be obtained from certain foods or food supplements. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment below and remember to subscribe to our channel for the latest on drug testing informational videos.